this video we have Huawei Honor 8X charging port replacement. The customer bring this device with broken charging port. I'm going to disassemble the device. I'm going with the bag glass. You can hit it with the heat gun with two Celsius degree for every 30 seconds and as you need. You can use the suction cup to push and then we put plastic piece inside. Don't push too much in the middle, just on the edges. Don't forget we have fingerprint flex cable to the top right side. Don't push to that position. You can keep hitting with the heat gun. If you think is it needed, you can use it. Okay, this model of the phone, the Huawei 8X, uh, you have to remove all the screws from the housing in order to remove the frame. I didn't notice that until now. It's all moving when I'm pushing. So I'm going now to remove the fingerprint flex cable from the bag glass. There is a sticker here, you can remove it first, then you can unplug the flex cable, after that you can just remove it easily. Now all you have to do is to remove all the screws from the housing. And before proceed, it's important to remove the SIM card slot. I'm always recommending to remove it. Now removing the frame from the housing in this Huawei Honor X 8X is different. You will see now it's the first time I'm opening this device. Uh, I got confused by the first time, but I noticed from where I can push it and it's easily to be removed. But when you remove it, take care of the flex cable because it goes beneath the frame. This frame is sticked with double face adhesive, so you can just remove it easily don't push too much the frame is very thin it could be broken while you are removing it or pent it so it's important to go slowly and remove it with no rush Always and always unplug the battery as first. After that, I'm going now to unplug the flex cable connected the main board to the sub board. And then we have antenna in the bottom. I'm going to remove it. Then I'm going to take out this sub board. If you are looking for an easier job, you can just remove this subboard and after that you can replace it with a new one and the job will be done for you but in this video I'm going to show you how to remove the charging port from this board 
as I told you, the charging port was broken, so I'm going to replace it with a new one. Some people ask for low price maintenance, and this is a low price maintenance. Replacing the whole sub will cost more money. So that's why we are just removing the charging port itself and replace it. It's on you to choose whatever you think is best for you. I'm going to proceed. You can continue watching. I'm going to put flux, amptic flux paste on the charging port. Now you can bring the heat gun with the soldering iron. Both will be better to remove the charging port easily and without making too much heat to the subboard. We don't want to make too much heat to the board. It's very important. As you can see, it's removed. Okay. I'm going to check this one it seems similar to the other one but this one has right on it or words on it by the way it's the same i'm going to resolder the pads and then clean out after that i'm going to solder the pins on the new charging port and then I will be ready to solder the new one. This is my way of soldering a new charging port. Some people use different method is to clean all the solder on the sub and then put the new charging port in position. After that, they will put the solder uh, on that sub directly, not in this way using the heat gun. Uh, I will show you uh, the other way soon. I'm going to brush using this steel fine brush. Uh, the board wasn't that cleaned. I have now alcohol cleaned with alcohol. After that I will put some flux again and then I will be ready to put the new charging port. Start heating with the heat gun for a few seconds then bring the new charging port and put it in position while the solder is melted. Now I'm going to resolder the pads and the pins. It didn't seem they are all connected. So I'm going to put some solder to make sure all the pins are connected and solid. It's important. We don't need to give the phone to the customer. And when he put the charger, the pads will get loose and he will come back. He told you the phone doesn't charge anymore. So you have to put uh, enough solder to make the pads solid in the board. It's very, very important. I will keep putting the solder to make sure all the pads are solid. And after that, I can check it.
as you can see they are all solid expect this one this not this one it's the the fourth leg isn't connected carefully i'm going to connect it again make sure it's solid and then i will put the device put the board in the device and check if there is everything and the phone come up to charge or not okay we are done now i'm going to clean the board and then i will put it on the phone to make sure the phone is working and everything is working fine Now you can connect the flex cable, then the antenna. After that, put the battery, plug the battery, and th then put the charger on and wait for a few seconds for the phone to start charging. I'm always advise you to check the phone before full assemble because sometimes you may do something wrong. I'm going to proceed with the assemble. I'm positive of my work. It, the device should work normally without any problem. You will see by the end. If you have. In this way our video has been ended. If you have any question just write it down in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video don't forget to support the channel by like and subscribe. We will do something else in the next video. Peace.